the Janlis Fonts Cryptocurrency Blockchain Market Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Janlis Fonts, as you all may know. I'm a former List Community Manager, and now I'm having the opportunity to speak with the CEO of Madonna, which is Lisk's very first blockchain project. Right now, take the time to share this, broadcast this, comment down below on what you think of anything that's said within this video, and also subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's some good things to be spoken about, and I hope that you guys all enjoy the video and everything that we're discussing. Christian, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks for the opportunity. Always a pleasure. That's great. And I mean, I love you guys' background. To go ahead and start uh, learning more about the great project, I have, I just have a few questions here and I'm asking from my tablet. I'd like to begin with, you guys are doing a great, great job here and you're very active. You and I have met um, multiple times and I've seen firsthand what it is that you're doing and what you guys are doing in the space and how serious you take everything that you're doing there. And so I have nothing more than, than gratitude and, and respect for what it is that you're accomplishing. So that's great. And to start off with having a chance to speak with you directly um, as the CEO of this project, how best and closely aligned to your personal vision can you explain Madonna's mission and the uniqueness of the overall project? For sure. So Madonna is a privacy preserving ecosystem which combines different parties or different participants. Right. We have data producers, plugin providers, and data analysis buyers, as we call it. I mean, data producers are entities and person and consumers which are creating data. But we're also talking about uh, IoT or smart devices, which will create a huge amount of data in future. Then we have plugin providers, um, which are entities, freelancers, analytics companies, which have algorithms to analyze. And we have companies, or also SMEs, this is one um, special thing about Madonna, we give them access to information. The main problem today is that all the companies, or blockchain companies especially, trying to storage data sets directly in the blockchain, yeah. which may be possible in future. This is good. Some protocols are working on it, some big projects. But what we say is, we have another approach. We say, give privacy and control back to data producers in a way that they can control control it, that they can monetize their own data, that they can get passive income out of it, and make data analysis happening of instead course. of data sets. So a dedicated data analysis, and Madonna stands for Market for Data Analysis, is nothing else than an information. And we have a new approach with the three participants to gain out of the data sets without seeing the data sets and totally preserving privacy, uh, let a data analysis running in a hardware-based secured environment to send the result out of this to data analysis buyers, which can request an analysis with our cryptocurrency. Right. So we created a beneficial way for all the three participants. On the other side, the plugin providers, which upload analytics tools to um, analyze the data sets, will be also rewarded with our cryptocurrency. Yeah. And for sure, to scale everything, it will be possible in the future that you can uh, buy a dedicated data analysis, a result or information if you want, with credit card, with PayPal, and so on. But the system is running on packs. And if you want, our cryptocurrency packs will be the, um, the currency for information in the Madonna ecosystem in future. To hear you speak in this way, it's amazing to see the professionalism coming from Madonna as a list sidechain project in the future. So it's great to hear these things and, and to, to pretty much get your input on what it is that you guys are doing. I actually have another question and it's kind of aligned to this, you know, um, well, having met you, being that you've been so, so involved in the project and involved with what you're doing there, I'd actually like to know behind the scenes, what accomplishments are you able to share within what's been done, accomplished with your team, by your team and through your efforts within this time? Yeah, for sure. So what we did, we are a bit special or a bit uh, different than other projects because we started with techniques and with the concept. Um, and not with marketing. Yeah. So now we do marketing, which is ICO related. I mean, now the ICO or the pre-sale, the, ever, the first ever ICO on the list blockchain yeah. is, is on our focus for sure. But what we did and what is special is we fought it about two years um, to stay in Germany. I mean, I was early involved in LISC. I will say uh, later on something about it. But also with LISC, we tried to stay with the whole money we raised um, uh, in the LISC ICO in Germany. And uh, it was... For several several years, not possible to find lawyers and to find right. a construct to say here with a normal liability company, and um, especially my person fought it about two years for it, and now we are in Germany. So with Baffin license, with the agreements, uh, what we also did is 
we patented our system. So it's patent pending yeah. in Germany and soon also in Europe. Um, we grew up our team with dedicated people. And um, yeah, we did some nice partnerships. And uh, we worked very long in a white paper, which will be published uh, this week, end of this week, oh, wow. and on your website. So oh, wow. we're working hard on the design and the concept stuff. And right now, the phase started with the ICO and also with the programming of the MVP. And uh, what else? We will bring um, a community hub. So it's called Madonna Community Hub. This will be a, few, a special thing to, to gain data producers and data scientists, which are nothing else in your plug-in providers in our system. Um, Madonna will be growing away, or in our view, uh, which is very community-driven. Of course. So community is everything. And um, our vision is to build up a system which is completely and fully decentralized. And it's not possible to build um, a system without having a big community, which is growing globally, right? That's it. So decentralization is, is the best approach, in my opinion. Therefore, I supported also Max quite early with the concept of the apps and list. We have the same vision with scaling. Um, but it's just possible if you have many people, then decentralization is just happening, right? And therefore, a community is a very important pillar also in our project. So alongside the hub, the community hub that you're actually launching for Madonna, you've been working on partnerships as well as next week you're launching your new website and your new amazing white paper. So those are great things that, that you guys are achieving and accomplishing. And I know that you're very busy. So I know there's only more to come, which is great to hear. And I mean, within what you're doing there and how many people that you have working, I've been impressed through looking through your website and your team page to see that you have, I believe, nine team members um, on the Madonna team working simultaneously full time in an actual work office space. And at such an early stage where you have not yet to launch your ICO, it's great to see that and great to see what you're doing there. Can you speak more on your team, um, the roles with sure. your team and what they're doing now? So to be honest, we have right now 15 team members. So we grew a lot. It's wow. more than nine. Yeah, yeah. And um, we have different ones. So the management team is, is Dieter, Dieter Schuler, co-founder yep. uh, and my person. Then we have a dedicated team um, for Technics. This is John Fabian. is also a co-founder. Wow. He's the CTO and he built the heart. I will tell uh, later about the concept, the technical concept a bit. Then we have um, built the, the early team with our heads. So it's a hierarchical uh, structure, if you want. So we are the co-founders, we founded everything, and we kickstart the whole project um, with a private finance. And um, yeah, then we found our heads. And uh, we have right now a head of marketing with a marketing manager next yeah. to him. We have a community manager and a dedicated, experienced uh, guy who is doing content strategy also in the community team. We have a head of um, technology, uh, head of development, and uh, next to our CTO. We have uh, now growing our data science team. We have right now an intern here from uh, the Columbia University where we're in conversation to build up a partnership. So this is also an important thing. It's, it's uh, the science pillar. We're collaborating with some uh, highly ranked universities because the education thing, and you know it also from your time, and LISC, the yeah. LISC Academy. And this is a thing uh, Max and I, when we met firstly in 2013 and 14, um, we found it together. Yeah. Bitcoin Aachen, as you know, and education is one of the most important things that blockchain technology should scale because you need to educate the people and to bring decentralization and to, to view uh, the approach of decentralization to the people. Um, yeah. Next to data science, um, we have also an in-house designer, which uh, did the past... Um, anti-current as assets of our homepage. We have right now also an external design um, uh, the design agency on board to make the, the new website ready and the release will be end of this week. So you will see a completely new website uh, with the white paper on it. The release is uh, this Friday, as I said, yeah. We will also provide a token paper. So this is also important. We have the white paper and a token paper with velocity approaches and so on. We will provide also this within the next weeks in August. Um, yeah, so the strategy is after the ICO to, to grow, right? Right, of And course. to prepare then the main sale and everything. So we will uh, grow definitely the tech team. Right now we're in hiring process. Wow. We have some guys who are experienced in recruitment. We're going to events, attending them and hiring some some uh, great people. But I can tell you, it's not that easy to find good employees uh, because you have a, a philosophy in your company because we're working about uh, a bit less than two years on, on the Madonna approach and everything. And um, if you find new employees, it should be a good fit. And it's not easy to find dedicated uh, people who are that driven as, as other ones, right? 
Of course, and I understand that too. I've been I've been in the process of looking for other community managers for the list project, and I can definitely share the same. But for you to say that you have 15 people on your team already, it really just is something great to hear. And I mean, for you to be doing what you're doing and establishing what you're doing for the list project, that's amazing. And I heard you speak on actually Max and you starting the very first blockchain cryptocurrency club within your university. And I know that Max Kordek, which is the co-founder of Lisk, uh, CEO and co-founder of Lisk, has been a longtime advisor of Madonna and also a first time investor of the project. How did this advisor position establish itself? And what history furthermore is there between you two? Yeah. So I began in 2013 uh, with crypto and Bitcoin and everything. And uh, with a good friend of mine, Eugene, he's right now a community manager. And we met um, back days, uh, Jan Schreier and also Max Kodak. And we four started together hanging out, discussing some stuff about blockchain in general. And uh, we said it was also in the field of the uh, RWTH University or RWTH Aachen University, which is one of the best ones and biggest ones for engineering and IT in Germany. And um yeah, we came together and said we need to build like a student group. Um, and we founded it. It was Bitcoin Aachen in 2013. And um, yeah, we went to university and, and told them, guys, this is quite important. But we were a bit too early in 13 and 14. So they said this is darknet stuff and so on. So we were a small group um, about several years um, meeting regularly. And uh, we were close friends. We had the same vision. It was the vision about educate people about decentralization, about blockchain in general, and make it scale through the apps on a blockchain. And this is the vision of Lisk, right? Of so we supported Max. Max quitted his career at university, um, took his risk, make one of the first ICOs in the whole world. Uh, there was no word for it. It was just crowdfunding. I remember a time uh, at the beginning of 2016 when it was a list on Wikipedia yep. for the most successful crowdfunded project. And Max was there on a uh, place 25th with he own started its uh, crowdfunding, which was is for sure today known as ICO. And um, yeah, we supported him. So we three, so Jan Schreier, Eugene, and, and me, we are early supporter in Lisk. We supported him with money and also with knowledge. And um, therefore, it's a pleasure to build now in this ecosystem and to see what Max achieved in, in, in the several years between. So it's awesome. Um, I started the company commonly with my current CTO, with Fabian, and also with Dieter Schule, the CEO of Madonna. And we tried to collect sensitive data sets. And we came to a point where we said, sensitive data sets, um, we need to find a new database for it, right? So I bring, in 2016, all the people together, we started in 2013 in the crypto space. Right. Also some doctors and so on, who were very involved in big data. So Max was one of the guys. And we came together and said, we need to, to find a solution. Let's uh, bring blockchain technology decentralization in and uh, uh, about a few months the concept of madonna was born it was more than just sensitive data it's data in general and um, yeah here we are and here you are which is very very um actually close to the list headquarters so it's great to see not only that you've grown with max but that you've actually really grown with max and being close to the project and also bettering the project improving the project and also starting your own to go on that, so being that you're speaking about this this great uh, PAX technology and the Madonna project of data, big data science and everything, it's great to hear this, but it even is more so interesting to know that you guys are actually patent pending at this moment. Patent pending is a big thing in the United States, and I'm pretty sure it has the same meaning globally. And this is very important and offers really special things to your project that no other project can in essence have. And I, I'm actually interested in knowing more so the technology behind Madonna that uses this patent yeah. pending uh, feature. Um, I'm, I'm very excited to know to know what it is. Exactly. So techniques are all hard. Um, of course. What are we doing? Um, we have a concept where we can get sure that data sets are anal analyzed without seeing or without having any data set. So Madonna is providing an infrastructure between data between algorithms and between the people who want to get an information. So it's called trusted execution environment. These are hardware-based environments on a um, participation on, on a computer chip, like in our smartphones. So what we are doing is we're connecting many data provider and data producer to our system for our API, give them the possibility to choose if they want to let their data set into a secure environment. Right. which is not hosted by us. Secure environments are connected through a lot of uh, smart devices 
to our system. So yeah. therefore, it's decentralized, right? I talked um, a bit earlier about you need many people, need a community to be decentralized. So they can choose if they want to sell their data. They get all cryptocurrency instead of the data. The data is going into a secure environment. We can guarantee that no one, nor Mardana, can look into the secure environment. We let also algorithmic tools inside and let the data analysis happening. So the result out of this trusted execution environment is an encrypted, dedicated data analysis like a report. So the requesting entity, which is called our system, as I said, um, the data analysis buyer, gets instead of the money sent, they, they send into the system, the private key to decrypt oh, wow. the, uh, the result, yeah. right? So we found a way to give the control and privacy back to data producers and to analyze those data sets without having any data and letting the uh, information to those entities who are requesting it. And this is the holy grail in big data analytics, if you want. Many, many big companies are contacting us are interested in our, um, in our system. And therefore, we said also we need to, to do a patent. I mean, this is also not, uh, not normal for a crypto startup sure. to do some patents. But we think, and especially I think, that um, we are on a point that the whole market is changing. It's prof uh, professionalizing in a, in a big way, yes, it is. in a very fast way. And it's not just upload a website and get a lot of money. I mean, you need a structure, you need employment status, you need uh, big assets, yes. you have shares. No, also shares are worth, right? There was a time just token and uh, cryptocurrency were important. But now you have a company with a business model. Otherwise, you will die within a few years after that you burned your money from your ICO. So therefore, you need a business model. And the business model of Madonna is, we have an infrastructure which provides information and you can buy information through our system, but Madonna has no data set and is not storage in anything. And that's the special thing. It's like Uber or like Airbnb. They have also yeah. no houses or no cars or no taxis. We have also no data sets, but we are providing the data sets through, uh, through technology. This is the special thing about Madonna. And this is all happening through the through the PAX token as being the main currency and provider in that, which is... Exactly. All of this are building on a sidechain and on the first sidechain of LISC. And the PAX, for sure, is the first LISC-based token. And we're very proud to be part of this ecosystem. To, to hear this, I'm interested. So for the, for the offering, the public offering, or the ICO of Madonna and the PAX token, when is the first phase of this actually scheduled to take place? And what are the other phases after on, let's say, the pre, if there's a pre-ICO, a, a full public sale or a private yeah. sale? What are these phases? Because I'm interested, in, and I know many are as well. So I said we will release the website. You will see everything on it, but I can tell some stuff before. Yeah. Um, so the whitelisting will start the 1st of August. Awesome. You can get whitelisted. It's okay, we see an ML, ML for sure, as normal. Then we have a public pre-sale, 1st of September, which uh, ends on the 31st of October, so eight weeks. But for sure, the goal is if we are sold out, then we are sold out. So we will see how it goes, but we will do also some road shows to Russia and also to Southeast uh, Asia. This will be uh, quite cool. So you're all invited to meet us there. Um, Information will follow. Um, and yeah, we will have a supply of 100 million PAX tokens okay. and 45 million are going into the ICO. And um, yeah, we will provide in the first row 15% for a price of 50 euro cents per token. Okay. You can you can invest with Bitcoin, Ethereum, or Lisk. And awesome. if you invest with Lisk, because we are on Lisk, you get a bonus. Awesome. And you get a 10% bonus. This is not a discount. It is a bonus. So you get 10% um, more on a, um, on the amount you invested in. So 10% more packs for it, right? Yeah. Then um, the main sale. The main sale um, is a bit depending also on LISC, so we will create the first, um, the, the ever first LISC-based token. Uh, this is planned beginning of 2019. Okay. And then we do the main sale. So now it's just a pre-sale pre phase with 50 euros and without having a token. And the main sale is coming with 30% of our 30 million token beginning of 2019. And uh, yeah, this will be the real ICO then. And the price will be one euro. I need to confirm because you said many great things here. You're saying that the very first LISC ICO is taking place on the 1st of September as a pre-sale phase. Correct. And secondly, you're saying that you're accepting LISC at a 10% bonus within this phase. Exactly, because we are truly believers. 
Of course. No, this is this is great. Amazing to hear. We want to strengthen, we want to strengthen the, the whole risk ecosystem. That's why we're doing this. Um, Madonna, you can see Madonna as, um, I mean, out of a te uh, technological perspective, this is totally wrong. But I say often it is the second layer technology because we build on LISC and other D apps will connect to us and of build course. on Madonna because we provide data control and privacy and uh, can get let them uh, passive income through their data sets, right? So that's all about strength the LISC ecosystem we built from scratch since 2015. That is great to hear. I actually was going to ask on the supply of the Madonna currency and how much is going to be valued at per token, but you stated that it's the supply is 100 million packs tokens. Um, and I know that I know that initially it's going to be valued at how many cents? The value of one PAX token during the pre-sale is 50 euro cents. In Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Lisk, we will change it, and then you can invest with the tokens. And, and the main you will have a value of one euro. Yeah. My next question is related to what projects in the space at this time do you see as competitors, and what does Madonna do differently to differentiate yourselves within the space? I know that your amazing patent pending technology is one of the major things. If there's anything else that you'd like to share, it'd be great to hear. Good question. So we often hear that we are competitors to companies, which I said when we began with the whole conversation, um, which are storage and data sets directly in the blockchain, like uh, protocols and different ones. There are many companies, but we are not storage in any uh, kind of data. We do similar things and we have also a common vision together with those companies, but we have the concept or the approach to bring the data uh, back to the data producers and to just connect them to let the information out of this data through our infrastructure layer to the people who want it. And um, we don't storage any kind of data set. But the good thing is for all the projects outside which are storaging data, which are doing something with raw data directly in general, um, they can connect to our system in future. Oh, and wow. the good thing is also that current applications can connect to our system. So we don't need um, future technology or something. We can build it up. I understand that application can connect to us and uh, we can use and start directly. This is a big advantage regarding other projects. Um, the thing with LISC is we don't see LISC projects, for example, uh, um, as competitors because, right. as I described earlier, we want to support and strengthen the LISC ecosystem. Yeah. We want that upcoming dApps and ICOs on, on LISC will be successful and also connect to Madonna because they all create data with digital businesses. Yeah. And we can make them GDPR ready uh, regarding data control and privacy. And they can also sell and anonymize in the best beneficial way their data to our ecosystem as passive income. So therefore, uh, right now, we have a very good, unique position, if you want. No, that's great. So alongside the ICOs on LISC, other projects outside the LISC ecosystem are able to use and connect with the Madonna ecosystem and also in use of the PAX tokens. So the good thing is any kind of project can connect to us. Good. So this is, this is the most beneficial way. So it doesn't matter what kind of data set you're generating. You just connect to us, you get sure that we storage the data, that we can let the data into the secure environment and you get passive income out of it. So it's a beneficial way for all the applications and digital businesses outside. That's great. Christian, to end it off, is there any final comments that you would like to add related to the project, the opportunity and the accomplishments you're looking to make? Yeah, I mean, it's much fun to work on it. It's, it's hard work what we're doing. Yeah. Uh, we're sitting here in the office until 1, 2 a.m., uh, sometimes wow. with four or five people. We're working hard to be a successful ICO, and one big thing is important. In my opinion, we see many scams outside, right? Sure. We see many big projects also in the top 10, top trending cryptocurrencies. They're doing marketing, they're doing bubbles, they're doing partnerships, but there's nothing behind. We want to be responsible for what we're doing, and therefore we choose the German jurisdiction to do it. We are a German liability company. We fight it for it. We're not a construct in dubious countries or something. We are in Germany. You can visit us. We're responsible for it. We're working hard. And um, therefore, we think we are on the right path to make this happen here. I highly recommend to follow us for sure on Twitter. On We're very strong on LinkedIn, but we have also a Telegram group and we're on Reddit. We will announce the first... Um, ICO also on Bitcoin Talk. So keep sure if you're interested in Madonna and the LISC ecosystem that you follow us, that you get all the information. But um, for sure, come in our Telegram group. Uh, 
We are directly contacting with the people, interacting with the people. So follow us, support us. That's amazing, guys. And I mean, I know that Christian Younger is taking the time to speak greatly about the Madonna Project, what they're doing here. Down below, I'll list all the links to their channel. So be sure to follow them. Be sure to stay up to date with what they're doing and the amazing things that they have going on. This Friday, check out their website, their new white paper, new details of what's to come. Do all of this. And I mean, it's, it's great to hear this as well. They're also hiring, as you guys heard. So if you guys have any great skill sets to offer the Madonna Project and what they are doing, be sure to reach out to them. Where can they reach out to you for any career opportunities? Info at Madonna.io. Just send us an email. Send them an email, a good email. Be great. Christian, again, I appreciate your time. You did wonderfully. Much, much luck to the project that you're doing there and what you're doing for the List ecosystem. I know that you guys would do more than great. To everyone watching, I appreciate it. And um, enjoy your day. I know you're busy and you have another video call. Thanks. Take care, Christian. As you guys have seen, this was a very great, great interview. And I think that it has much value to what it is that is going on within the ecosystem of the Lisk project and within the space of blockchain entirely. It's very impressive to see how serious and how professional they're taking this project and are taking themselves within what they're doing and accomplishing, which I can be nothing more than grateful for. As you guys have heard, many great things are to come and even more so by staying in touch with what they're gonna announce soon enough. So be sure, as I said, to follow everything down below, which is gonna be their community channels, their Reddit, Telegram, Twitter, Facebook, and everything as well as Christian's personal Twitter. Again, I hope that you guys all enjoyed this special video interview with the CEO Madonna. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, Share this around and let's make everyone aware of the very, very first LISC ICO project and of groundbreaking things that are to come for the LISC project and other projects in the space.